Hello, class. Good evening. How are you doing? How's everything? Hello, hello. How's everything, guys? Do you guys listen to me? Well, sure. Good evening. Good evening. How's better? How was your day? How was everything? Good evening. Good evening. Oh. Well, welcome to All right. Nice. Nice to hear that. Robert, how about your day? All good? All, all nice? Uh, are you guys on vacation? No, not yet. Do you have vacation? No? <laughs> no? Okay, yeah. I, I see. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, in my case, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky because I do have vacation, actually. The whole month. <laughs> The whole month is vacation time for me. Yeah, just like, you know, with you guys uh, at night. <clears throat> that's that's one of the benefits working, you know, at school. So, yeah, it's nice to see you guys once again. Uh, thank you so much for connecting. Now I can see David. David, good. Thank you so much for turning your camera on. <laughs> that's good, you know. Uh, I'm going to start with the class, and today we're going to be working on the, on the superlatives, okay? So yesterday we talked about competitives and today we're going to focus on, on superlatives and I'm going to have some, you know, couple of questions to reinforce this topic. And if we have some time, we're going to go to the platform and there are some videos that I also want to play. There's a conversation that we need to go over too. But um, the focus of today's class is going to be about superlatives, okay? Before I get started, I would like to know um, what do you know about the topic? What have you learned? What do you understand when you when you um, um listen to the word superlative? How does it work? Any any opinion? What opinions? What ideas do you have? Superlative. When do we use superlatives? Why is it necessary to use superlatives? Is there any purpose in that? Alguna idea? Classic? Why do we use superlatives? And how do we use them? Yesterday we no. talked. <clears throat> no? I, got, I, can, I can give you my... Uh-huh. My thoughts about that, and I, mm -hmm. I'm not sure about the topic, but as far as I heard, uh, the superlatives are used when, for example, when you want to, when you refer to something that re mean most, or yeah, when something means most, the most. Yes. I, I'll go see, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. No, you have the idea. And uh, let's see. We're gonna, I'm gonna give you, um, let's see, an idea in comparison with uh, the previous topic. So the previous topic, if you remember, we only need to have two things to compare. But when we talk about superlatives, is there are more than two things, okay? So that's key. Superlativos, dos cosas que comparar. Comparativos, I'm sorry, dos cosas que comparar. Superlatives, more than three things. Y una es la que siempre sobresale, una es la que es eh, uno en el, en el resto. That is a superlative. But how do we use it? That's the word, that's the big question. So we still compare, but the point of reference is not just another personal thing or situation. It's going to be a group. It can be more than two, right? That's key. Now, um, the same things happen with the comparatives because instead of adding er for the short words, we add est. Aquí, en vez de ponerle er a los de palabra, a los de escritura corta de una sílaba, le ponemos est. Additionally, we include the article the. The okay, that's that's key. So let's analyze this idea. Red car is 
the fastest, okay? The fastest. So in this case, um, I mean, el carro rojo es el más rápido. All right? So I can say the red car is the fastest of all in the group. There's no other in the group that has the same, you know, we can be, uh, I don't know, let's say characteristics or it can be, um, depends, right? If it's a car, it can be characteristic, but if it's a person, it can be abilities or any other, you know, depend on what we are describing. So superlatives, one of a kind, one in a group, no comparing with, with another, but with a group, okay? So let's take a look at this one. Dinosaur is the tallest. It means there are no more, there isn't any other dinosaur like the one I'm saying, I'm describing. As of now, let's see, let's let's use the the word or the adjective slow. How do we how do we make the superlative? Slow, what is the superlative, guys? The slowest. The slowest. Exactly, very good. We just add the slowest. The slowest. Now, give me a sentence, please. Slowest. Superlative. Let's think about a, a sentence. Slowest. Whatever you whatever you can think about. Lo que, lo que se le ocurra. At, at the moment, just, you know, make us. Go ahead, please. Thank you. Vi una mano levantada. Eso sería... Lo que sobresale, dice, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uno del montón. Es el que no tiene comparación con otros, sino pues el, el grupo es el único que tiene la característica de ser. Es uno en el, en el montón, ¿verdad? Yo comparo, es the top ranking, the top. You know, there's nothing else compared to this, to this thing or object or people or animal being described. Uh -huh. Y sería de una sílaba, no mapa. One syllable, one yeah. syllable, or even two syllables, but then the from mm -hmm. no. El ejemplo que le di ayer que era de bici, bici, de ocupado, se podría incluir. Me dijo usted que ayer no era como el adecuado, algo así. Mm, yeah, we can say, it. we can say, it. we can say it. You know, busy. So the first question is, what do we say? ¿Qué decimos para busy? How do we make the, the superlative? How do we make it? Busy, what is the superlative? The superlativo de busy is, see? I don't know. Solo, busy. solo apliquemos la, la, la regla, all right? No tenemos que... Viere, viere. Sustituimos la Y. Uh -huh. Decimos B, C, busiest. 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 Y le ponemos el artículo da, the busiest. How do you ah, say o sea, that? Sí, 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 este, sí, pa, sí, ya cumpliría, podría meterlo en esto de los superlativos. Yes. Ya no es compartido. Ya no es compartido, pero vaya, analicemos la, 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 el, primero la base es busy, ocupado, busier, más ocupado, to compare, para comparar, pero cuando decimos the busiest, es el, es el más ocupado de todos, no hay otro que sea más ocupado, es el superlativo, veamos, about this class, let's see, how many, we are 20, we are 20 students connected, Quizá alguno de nosotros sea el más ocupado de todos, pero no habrá otro más ocupado que él. All right? And then to identify the person who is the busiest, we need to make a survey. Do you know a survey? Una encuesta. We need to make a survey. And based on the survey, we can say, right, who is the busiest in this classroom? There's no other student that is busy or busiest, you know? So, how do we make a, a sentence? I uh, mean, una, una oración, please. Uh, usando busiest, the busiest. David. David. He is the 
Busiest, busiest mm -hmm. of all. Yeah, you can say that. The the okay. is the busiest of all. Exactly. That's one example. You can still say the beat is the busiest in this in this group. The beat is or was the busiest last year. Diego. Maybe my father is the busiest of the family. Okay, of them, sorry. Uh, my father is the busiest of the family. Okay, my father is the busiest you know, of the family. Family, yes. Yes, he is like, he's always doing so many things, right? Yeah, okay, good. So, hasta este momento, solo le ponemos, remember this, guys, EST. Le ponemos EST y le antecedemos the, uh, the particle the, es, es un artículo the. El más, el, el más, el más de una, el mejor, el, el que no tiene comparación con otro, es you know, one, of, one of a group. Now, with this, with this in mind, you know, now it's not more compared with one person, with, with one thing, it's compared with the group, right? So let's take a look at the next slide. What happened here? What happened? Um, we are now talking about long words. ¿Quién se acuerda qué poníamos cuando decíamos el comparativo para los long words? What was the word? What era la palabra? What was the word that we used to add before the adjective? Do you remember? More. More. What happened here? Ahora ya no decimos more. What do we say? Look. The, the most. most. The most. The most. Like, for example, if it's long, si tiene escritura larga, decimos, he is the most intelligent. Es el más inteligente. There's no other. He is the most intelligent student in the class. No hay otro. Es the most intelligent. By, by any reason, he's the most intelligent. Comparamos con todo el grupo. But he's the most. There's nothing, there's nobody else who's like him. Okay? Look at this one. She's the most beautiful girl in the world. She's the most beautiful girl in the world. She's the most beautiful. Miss Nicaragua. She's the most beautiful. Nobody else. Okay? So that's one in a group, one in the world, one in a team. So, so that's how it is. This is superlatives. Superlatives, that's how it works. Now, uh, before you, you provide me with some, some examples, let's take a look at the regular ones. What was the comparative of good? Anybody? What was the comparative? The comparative, guys? What was the comparative? Do you remember? Is it better? Better. Thank you so much. Better. Yeah, it's better. All right. Superlativo es? Best. Best. Okay. Best. Um, I can say, for example, um, what? Let's think about it. Let's talk about soccer. We can talk about teams. We can talk about players, uh, athletes. So I can say, uh, it's an example. I don't actually support any team, but I can say Messi, or you can say Cristiano Ronaldo, the top ones, is the best player or soccer player or athlete in the world. Nobody else compares with him. I can say, uh, talking about food, Chinese is the best food in the world, or Mexican or Salvadoran traditional food is the best. There's no comparison. So in this case, we use these ones are, you know, irregular. Ayer les decía que usamos irregular porque no siguen la regla de todos. No le ponemos the most. So le ponemos best y le agregamos the best. Worst, el peor de todos. Like, um, I don't know, maybe think about, think about what, well, services. Um, I don't know. I'm using Claro. Uh, maybe you're using Movistar or any or any other company. Tigo, let's say Tigo or Claro is the worst company you know, in El Salvador. No, the most of them is the is the worst. La peor. <clears throat> Talking about far. A ver quién se acuerda. Yo dije ayer far further. Dije una idea de further con u y further con a. Quién se acuerda? 
El further que tengo aquí, que es further, que es más como una E, further, esa es, de, ¿qué significa? Who remembers? ¿Qué dije de esto ayer? Ok, dos. Further with A, further with you. Who remembers? Uh, no. No? Ok. All right, I think uh, maybe I was explaining too fast. Further with you, further means uh, something metaphorical, something uh, figurative, because it talks about distance, but then it's not physical distance. And further with A is physical distance. For example, if I, if I use further with A, I can say um, my house is, um, what is located in the farthest area in the country, I don't know, in a remote area, let's say. So there's no other house that is like with such distance, with, with such, you know, um, location. But then if I say further with you, I said that it's more like figurative. Uh, a question that I, that I, an example that I said is like, uh, it's common to hear when I say there, is there any further question? Is it una, una pregunta bien, bien común? Any, esta, any further, further question? You know, this is common to say, there's a exclamation mark, a question mark. So basically, si hay alguna pregunta más adicional, o que puede continuar, you know, further, you know, talking about distance, but not literally, physically. But then this is this is a uh, comparative, and now aquí tendríamos que corregir a superlative for this. We add the st for this. There's no other in distance, and like so that's how it works. Little, less, or least. In this case, it's least. The least, el menos, el menos, el the 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 what? The least expensive is el menos caro. No hay otro. You go to a restaurant and you order a food, you order, a, I don't know, you ask for a menu and then you start checking on the options and then you say, I'm going to order the least expensive. Voy a poner el más barato. List, no hay otro. Fin del día. So those are superlatives, guys. Uh, the little Caesar. Ajá, uh -huh, little Caesar. <laughs> pizza, pizza, easy. The, 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 Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. I had a question. Ajá. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Respect with the word little. Mm -hmm. In less. Listen. Uh, cuando se escribe con las dos S, ¿por qué cambia? Mm -hmm. Entre esta y la otra. Vaya. Muy buena pregunta. Si gusta, lo vamos a discutir de la siguiente manera. Uno es comparativo y el otro es superlativo. ¿Ok? And then uh, less is comparativo. Le voy a dar un ejemplo. Let me write, use my board. Let's see. How do I use it? Well, simple like this. Let's take a look at this one. If I go like this, uh, if I use less, it's comparative. Comparative, less, hold on. I'm gonna use less. This one is comparative, comparativo. And least or the least is superlativo. Vamos a hacer un ejemplo de cada uno. Vamos a usar less. Vamos a usar el mismo adjetivo, expensive. Uh, tenemos que estar en un restaurante. Uh, what? I'm going to say Chinese food. Chinese food is, mira, voy a usar less, less expensive. Y aquí tengo que usar then, porque es la palabra clave. Then, que, significa que, then, uh, Italian food. Comparando comidas. So, uh, in this case, less es comparative. Comparative, y estoy comparando dos comidas, Chinese en Italian, y uso then, porque es que, le menos cara que la otra. But least es superlative, no hay otra. Digamos que las dos, vamos, en, en the restaurant, en el menu, aparecen otras comidas, aparece ahí, todos son ejemplos, ¿verdad? Puede ser que el precio para ir. pensar en comida mexicana. Mexican, Mexican food, Mexican, Mexican food is the least expensive. 
in the choices. Man, I see. In la, in la opción es brindada, in the choices given. Just to give you an example. As you can see, aquí no estoy comparando, solo estoy diciendo que una es la menos cara, de ahí, no hay otra. The least expensive. This is superlative. Uno en el montón, no te Aquí no comparo, aquí no hay otra comida que sea la, la menos cara. Todas son contrario a menos cara. So, least is superlative and less is uh, comparative. That's how it works. I don't know if that, that makes sense. Ahora veamos el, cómo lo tenemos en el chart. Aquí estamos hablando ahorita de superlatives. Por eso que aparece list. List. El menos. List. No hay otro. Does that, does that clarify your question? Cla hablar un poquito o es confu confuso? Si gusta, me, if you like, uh, like create one sentence with superlatives, using cualquiera, using irregulars or irregular. Regulars or irregular. Los regulares son los que no están la mayoría. Create a, create a sentence. And if you want, let's do something. I, I can, uh, que sí me interesa que ustedes me creen sus propios ejemplos. Y háganos, como yo decía hace un par de clases, que yo recuerdo que Robert contestaba y agregaba más. Así me gustaría que ustedes se vayan a ese nivel. Cuando ustedes create a sentence, la hacen, pero you add more details. Porque el nivel de ustedes ya no tiene que ser solamente lo basic. Ustedes ponen. Um, what, let's say, English is the most important language in the world, coma, y yo le agrega. If you know how to speak the language, you have more opportunities to work and to make more money. You see, I'm trying to like add more ideas because it's not only simple things, it's not only, it's not only simple sentences, but detail or long sentence. So, so I don't speak much. I'm going to give you three minutes. Give me one, please. Give me one sentence. Quiere crear con comparative and superlative. Join together. Do it. You know, I'll give you some time. ¿Se ha entendido la, la pregunta? Do you, ¿Is it clear or not clear? ¿Se ha, per, ¿Se ha entendido la solicitud? Ahí tenemos uno, Fátima. Let's see. My pets are the most beautiful in the world. Exactly, Fátima. No hay otras. Ah, Christian, exactly. The worst mistake is solo pongámosle giving up. Tenemos que otro es giving up. Alfredo, go ahead, please. Mount Everest is the hill, hill has city mountain mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. world. Exactly. It's the highest. Uh -huh. It's the highest mountain in the world. It's the highest. It's the most alta. Right? It's the highest. Good. You see? That's what I'm talking about. Awesome. I like it. Los que no me mandan son esos oraciones. Why is it? Because it's too complicated or... What's the reason? Vamos a ver, tenemos otro por ahí. Uh, is the place, is the best place for work? Uh -huh. Ahí habría que mencionar que, ¿verdad? Uh, I don't know, maybe like the nombre de la compañía. Uh, en el caso David, Charlie is the most small. Ahí es donde entra la parte que tenemos que aplicar la regla, David. Porque small Yes, el, para hacer el superlativo de small, por solo tener small, small, máximo quizás sería small, como sonido de si luego small, dos sílabas, small, aunque creo que solo es una sílaba, small. Solo aplicaríamos smallest, no le ponemos most. Remember that? 
y hay que hacer la modificación. Aunque para personas no usamos small, usamos short, que sería shortest, the shortest. Messi is the... Christian, as you can see, usted me está usando un comparative y queremos un superlative. Porque si decimos que es better, es mejor que alguien más. Ahí sería Messi is the best, el mejor in the world. Peter is the fastest in the group of cars. That's the one. My grandmother makes the most delicious soup of all. I like it. Real Madrid is the best team in Spain. You see, that's, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Great. In America, it has the most junk food than England. Pero si ponemos than England, ahí tendríamos que hacer en vez de poner uh, the most junk food sería uh, the more, sería more, porque es el comparativo, more, more, the more um, junk food, así, than England. Y quiere ser lo, the more, pero no most, porque si usas than es una comparison. Honduras is smaller than El Salvador is smaller than Honduras. Yes, that is a comparison, Fatima. Yes, comparison. Charlotte is the most tall. Ahí es otro detallito, Yuri. Como tall suele una sílaba, no le no decimos most. Usamos tallest. Remember that? Solo usamos the most con los adjetivos que tengan más de dos sílabas. Tall solo sería tallest. All right? In America, it has more junk food than uh -huh, name. America has, en solo, has, y no, no necesariamente porque uh, my mother is, is the most creative in my family, the most. The Pacific Ocean is the largest of all the, all the ocean. Yes. Me han dado varios ejemplos. All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Quiero hablar de dos cosas más en esta clase. Y, y si no avanzamos, el tiempo se nos termina. All right, let's, let's continue. Let's see. Uh, first, let's focus on the next slide. I want you to give me the superlatives. Okay? And let's create sentences. Si gustan. Voy a irlos mencionando. Haga su mejor intento. We're going to choose. I'm going to choose Ma Ana Maria Rivas Durán. Give me a sentence with creative superlative, please. Creative. Hablado o escrito? Hablado, speaking. De my house, the most elegant. The, in the world. Right. You're using elegant, right? What about creative? Si no usa creative, ¿cómo le quedaría? Creative. ¿Cómo? Si usamos creative, ¿cómo le quedaría? Usamos los adjetivos que estoy presente en the, on the, on the, on the, on the class right now, okay? So how do you say, um, or how do you create one sentence using creative? Esa es la pregunta. Voy a asignarlo para que vaya empezando los demás. Entonces, uh, Ana, creative. Vamos a darle una a cada uno para que sí me ayuden, ¿ok? Voy a elegirlo ahorita. Ana, creative. Ana, we're going to have uh, Alfredo, tidy. ¿Ok? Tidy. Dennis, far. Usemos el de, dis el, el de distancia física. Further. Hoy, far. Um, Robert Beltrán, important. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's see. Jocelyn, Messi. Jocelyn. David Alberto, big. Let's see. Selena, good. David, Selena. Uh -huh. Let's see. Uh, Sonia Guadalupe, noisy. Uh -huh. Jenny, handsome. Handsome. Sí. Roberto Guzmán. Roberto Guzmán, uh, bad. Bad. Comencemos. Ana, creative. 
Tell me with creative. Rapidito. Lo que se le ocurra. Whatever it comes. Remember to apply superlatives. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yo tengo la mía. No sé si estará bien. Como me toco, ah, me ah, dice... Va, adelante, sí, adelante. Eh, my hamburger is the most biggest. Vaya, ahí este, vamos a analizar algo. Fíjense, está bien la idea porque le puso the most, pero big, el suyo es big, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál uh -huh. es el superlativo de big? Biggest. Exactamente. Biggest. Exactamente. Entonces, cambiémosle de most, the most big, digamos. Is the biggest. ¿Ok? Porque así es superlativo. ¿Cómo le quedaría entonces la oración? Uh, my hamburger uh, is the biggest. Uh -huh. Is the biggest. No hay otra igual. Ok, like that. No the most. Awesome. Vale, me faltan los demás. Ahí tenemos Ana, Dennis, Robert, Jocelyn, Selena, Sonia. Eh, los que mencioné. Y tenemos el de, el de Big, ya salió. Thank you so much, David. Ya salió el de él. Ya no me digan de Big. Ajá. Uh -huh. Creative. Uh, tratemos de hacer nuestro mejor esfuerzo. Try to make your, your best effort. Alfredo, go ahead, Alfredo. Yeah. Uh, sería, my room is the tedious in the house. Okay. My room is the, let's, just the pronunciation, tidious. Tide, tidious, 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 tidious. My room is the tightest in the house. Uh -huh. Sí, bueno, me tocó el más pequeñito de todo el mundo. Nice, I like it. Tenemos dos. Awesome, we're moving really good. Next one, Sonia. My fan is noisy in my room. Ah, uh -huh. muy bien. My fan is the noisiest. Uh -huh. El más bullicioso. Noisiest. The noisiest. Remember, Sonia, that we add, que le agregamos da, porque es un superlative, right? Estamos bien. Okay, good. Let's continue. Veamos. What about the other ones? Falta far, important, messy, good, handsome, and bad. Ana Maria, go ahead, please. My team is the most creative than the rest. Okay. My, my thing. My thing is the most creative than the rest. Ajá. Fíjese que si le ponemos then the rest, es por ponerle then, es ya suena como una comparación. Pero lo se escucha que tiene sentido porque usa la palabra the rest, el resto. Por eso que suena bien. Then, que, la, que los demás, right? Porque no es comparativo con uno, pero es que suena bien. Si no, no es necesario poner then. Que se entiende que es más creative. Solo no entendí la palabra. Es thing, 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 like cosa. Así, thing. O no, thing. Yeah. Which? My. Mm -hmm. What is the word? I want to understand. What is the word you are using? ¿Cuál es la palabra que está utilizando? Think, like with K, como pensamiento. Team, team, fartest, mm -hmm. uh -huh. fartest, este tenis, team, team, muy bien, team. Eh, haría, haría la profesión de team para que se escuche el sonido de la M, necesario, team, team, ok, now I get it, thank you so much, all right. Let's continue. Who's missing? Tenemos creative, more creative, most creative. No falta important, messy, um, falta good, handsome, and bad. Jocelyn, Selena, uh, uh -huh. My little sister is the messiest uh, among all my siblings. Is the, is the messiest. Okay. Amon, dijo, ¿verdad? Amon. Ok, esa palabra está interesante. Amon. Amon. Good. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. All right. 
What about the other ones? Sigamos con el que me falta. Let's let's hurry up a little bit more. Que no pasa el tiempo. Sí. All right, go ahead. The beach is the farthest of the city. Okay, yeah. The, podemos, si lo le daríamos una palabra más fácil, se escucha. The beach is the farthest place, digamos, of the city. Solo le pongale place para que suene como el lugar más le, lejano de la ciudad. Yes, good. No, there's no other place that is like that. Awesome. Let's move on. Important, uh, good, handsome, and bad. Yeah, what about getting along with the people is the most important thing that works in the world. Mm -hmm. Nice. Getting along with the getting along with others, getting along with people is the most important thing in the world. Yes. I know. Awesome. I like it. I like you, your your creation. You know, you're thinking, you know, not only like uh, starting with uh, something basic, like getting along sounds good. I like it. All right. Tenemos getting along is most, the most important, but the good, handsome, good. and bad. Mm -hmm. Selena. My boat is, my voice is bitter trouble, the colony. Okay, can you say it one more time, please, Selena? My boy, my boy is uh, the voice, the, the boss. Mm -hmm. Voice is bitter trouble, trouble, the colon. Okay, um, hmm. all right, I'm trying to understand. All right, let's see. Sería, nos ayudaría mandándola al chat para que le ayudemos a, creo que hay que hacer alguna modificación. Chris, okay. puede editar. Thank you. Ok, los que faltan. Good and handsome, I think is are the ones. Jocelyn. A ver, ¿quién se anima? De las que faltan, si no tiene lo que mencioné. Roberto, me va a ayudar con uno. Guzmán. Ok. I, um, the traffic in Mumbai is the worst than other cities. Uh -huh. Good compa. Good, good, good sentence, you know. The traffic is the worst, you know. In downtown, right? It's the worst thing, right? I imagine how stretching that is. Good. Tenemos bad, tenemos worse. We falta hands on. My voice is better throughout the community. Ah, my voice. Mi voz es la mejor de toda la All right. Yeah, if you say... <laughs> My voice is the best, Selena. The best. The, the, the best. Like my voice, my voice is the best. Is it throughout? Está bien. Throughout. Suena bien. Throughout. It's throughout. Throughout the colon. In toda la colon. In throughout my neighborhood. Throughout my, my town. My hometown, you know, that's, that's common because colony is not common, honestly. You can say hometown, you can say town, you can say neighborhood, um, yeah. But then the best, the best, the best, la mejor, the best. Right. All right. Uh huh. Ana Maria. Good. Creo que terminamos. Hanson nos hace falta. My dress is more handsome. Hmm. Jenny, uh, more is comparative, right? But then we don't want to say more. We want to say uh, most. He is the most handsome actor in the entire cast. Yes. Yes, Alfredo. He's the most handsome actor in the entire cast. Yes. Yep. Very good. That's a good example. Right, I am the most handsome person in the world. You know, why not? 
Yeah, the most you gotta talk nicely about yourself, right? <laughs> okay, uh -huh. let's let's finish this now. Lo que voy a enseñarles ahorita es una manera diferente de hacer comparison. Considera bien hacerlo, por si llevan una idea con el tema se pueda ver. Okay, uh, I have, you know, just a short review. If it's one syllable, comparative decimal shorter. Superlative decimal the shortest. Si tenemos one syllable, de una manera general, high, higher comparative or comparative, and the highest superlative. Cold, colder, coldest. Two syllables, miren, todavía entra. Simpler, simplest. Cleverer and cleverest. Si es dos sílabas, ¿qué pasa si tenemos más de dos sílabas? Ya la aprendimos, decimos more y decimos the most. Aquí están los ejemplos. Eso es un summary, es un resumen. Summary. Necesito que alguien me ayude a leer, please. Anybody. Long adjective. Okay, thank you, Alfredo. Continue. Not of syllables. Adjective. Comparative is superlative. Four syllables. Interesting. More interesting. Most interesting. Uh, three syllables. Uh, beautiful. More beautiful. Most beautiful. Four syllables. Intelligent. More intelligent. Most intelligent three syllables uh, expensive more expensive and most expensive three syllables dangerous more dangerous most dangerous excelente i like it nice como manera de resumen si tenemos la sílaba fue un rol importante acuérdense de eso remember that please and additionally, we need to know the, what do you say, the um, irregular one. Okay. Vamos a ver la, la parte que les comentaba. La parte de, eh, no vamos a hacer esto, porque por el tiempo quiero que veamos un detallito más. Well, this one's, así rapidito lo vamos a hacer. Díganme cuáles son irregulars de estos que están aquí. Anybody, help me. Oops, me adelanté. This ones. Mm -hmm. What are irregulars on from these, these um, I don't know, these words. Bad. 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 What else? Few. Mm -hmm. um, far. 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 Good. Far. Uh -huh. far. Good. Uh huh. Falta uno. Smart. Smart no es irregular. Smart, smarter, smart. Se aplica la regla. Bill. Which Bill. one? Bill. Bill. Uh, 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 uno falta. Bill. Little. 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 Sí, good. Ya lo habían dicho. Sí, good. Little es el otro. Little. El otro era. Acuérdense. Less. The least. Ok, good. Hoy sí, veamos esta otra que quería enseñarla, porque siento que es necesario. El disco le iba a mencionar y pues aquí lo traigo para que hagamos una comparación. Hemos aprendido a hacer comparaciones, pero hay una que también es una comparación cuando las dos cosas son iguales. You no, know? still is a comparison. Esa la hacemos de esta manera. Guys, pay attention. Usamos lo bueno de esto es que usamos la palabra as en as. Lo mismo, pero en la parte in between, en medio, ponemos el adjetivo en su forma base. Cindy is as beautiful as Pamela. Pamela. As you can see, estamos diciendo que el Cindy es tan bonita como Pamela. La buena noticia, the good news, is that beautiful no sufre ninguna modificación. Solo el adjetivo no sufre ninguna modificación. Solo nos aseguramos que lo pongamos en medio de la, de la estructura as en as. O sea que si yo digo... Roberto Guzmán is as intelligent as Roberto Beltrán. Estoy diciendo que los dos son igual de inteligentes. You see? Si ya sabía esto, nice. Si no, varita, anótelo. 
Yo puedo decir, Jocelyn is as responsible as Jenny. Las dos son iguales de responsables. Algo interesante. Luego me ayudan ustedes. ¿Qué pasa si cambio el verbo to be? Lo pongo isn't. Si es singular. Cindy isn't as beautiful as Pamela. Ahí ya cambió. Digo que Cindy no es tan bella como Pamela. Sé que Pamela es más bella. Y follow me. Conocer esa, neg esa, esa negativity, o negative statement, ahí le cambia el significado. María Rivas, iba a preguntar algo. Create, a, create as an example. Ayúdenme creando un ejemplo con este, esta estructura. Please, tenemos cinco minutos, pero quiero hacer una ejercicio de unas preguntas. Pues. Uh -huh. Please help me yeah. out. Guys, we're talking about comparisons and superlatives. So Ahora una compar comparison with this structure, which I consider is another important thing to mention when we talk about comparatives. Uh -huh. Any idea? What, whatever you want to say, use the structure as an as. ¿Se ha entendido usted? Diré una, no sé si le armaré bien la oración. Uh -huh. eh, the pizza the little pizza is as expensive as siciliana exactly es decir que las dos son caras perdón <laughs> yes las dos valen lo mismo Isabel is as sure as Elena. Yes, las dos son iguales de pequeñita. ¿no? All right, yes, Penny, that's a good one. To finish this, uh, this practice, porque eso es todo, quiero que usen de estos. Y yeah, como les quema. Intelligent, funny, careful, careful and small and boring. Careful, le han puesto una L de más ahí. Vale, se la quita. Okay, so. Give me, give me sentences. Usemos the structure. As blank as as in as as in as so yeah tell me a sentence using this one presented here intelligent funny careful small boring Ana Maria go ahead Robert is as careful as David Bien, exactamente. Y está comparando dos personas diciendo que los dos son cuidadosos. Nice. Any other idea, please? I want to make one, but uh, I need you to help me out for creating that because mm -hmm. I don't know if I can make a sentence using the first person. Like, hey. mm -hmm. I'm not as beautiful as Guzmán. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Or, So you are as intelligent as no sé qué otra cosa. Mm -hmm. Actually, the sentences are perfectly fine. Grammatically, can I use the first person? Yeah, you can. Grammatically speaking, you are you are totally correct. Okay. And yes, you can say beautiful, right? But in the, in the in the case if it's a man, you say handsome. But then you know that's not the point. The point is to use it the proper structure. And yeah, of course you can use it like that. Okay, Christian is as intelligent as Isabel. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Tengo una, no sé si estará bien. Please. Uh, my dog as funny as my cat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, solo lo faltó is, ¿verdad? My dog yes. is as funny as my cat. Yes. Okay. Mi perro es tan divertido como mi gato. O sea que aprendemos que la, la, el uno es tan o tanto y el otro es como. Así funciona la escritura as, 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 as. Ok. Nice. Uh, tengo 10 minutos. Quiero retar así, en el buen sentido de la palabra, a uh, cinco personas que quieran responderme una pregunta usando comparativo y superlativo. ¿Quién quiere hacerlo?
Who wants to do it? <laughs> Alfredo, my ex-wife is, is as small as as is as. How was the question? Va a ser, va a ser, va a ser random, random, y así random. Quiero hacerlo de una manera, y por eso es un challenge. Va a ser una pregunta aleatoria. Y usted va a responder, ¿cuál, ¿por qué traigo esto? Porque yo siento que es necesario traer ese challenge, ¿verdad? Aquellos que sienten que tienen más ya experiencia, yo lanzo la pregunta, ahí las tengo. Tengo 20 preguntas, pero solo voy a elegir 5. Me dice, ¿cuál? ¿Quién quiere responderla? Y el reto es esto, que le vamos a dar un minuto para que hable inglés. No more. Y trate. Okay, Bye. Robert, tenemos primero. ¿Quién más? Robert. De otras manos por ahí levantadas. Vamos a comenzar con Robert. ¿Quiere que yo le ponga la pregunta o quiere, no quiere, que quiere que la muestre? Y es la oportunidad que le doy. Una cosa es que se la lea, otra cosa se la diga yo. Tell me the question. I don't show it. No la muestra. Okay. No, don't show it, please. Good. Huh. Interesting. I'm going to start with a very basic question. Let's see. The first one is, la más fácil. Are you happier now than you were a year before? Uh, I'm not happier than yesterday. If you want, you can replay the question, I think. You want me to replace the question? Yeah, you because see? you say, are you happier than yesterday before? Or that's what I remember you say. Okay, I said, are you happier now than you were a year before? Oh, a year before. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I can say, okay. Yes, I'm happier now than a year before. Because that sounds like a yes or no question. Yeah, but I this is like, I want you to expand on your, I want you to explain. I'm going like, to, all the questions are like this, but the purpose is that you speak more than, than that, you know. So let's, let's change the question. We have to una más diferente, Okay. Y se expande por un minuto, ¿ok? All right, I'm going to be tracking it. Try, challenge yourself, uh, uh, Robert. That's, that's important. This is the next question for you. Hmm, all right. Is it better to be poor and happy or to be rich and unhappy? Hmm. I don't think so. It's better to be rich and unhappy. I think it's better to be poor and happy than be rich and happy because I think the money, of course, make us feel happy because it's better. It, I usually listen to the people say it's better cry in a Lamborghini than cry on the street, for example, or have a lot of money <laughs> in, the, in your bank account and cannot save your health. That, it doesn't make sense. You cannot buy your life with the money. It's just a gift given by our God, you know. Awesome. It, uh, it's really, it's a basic. Like you said, it's a basic question. No, but you see, you, you responded nicely, you know. Good ideas. You have good ideas. Y si se fijan, yeah. Roberto acaba de usar, quizás involuntariamente, usó como tres o cuatro, cuatro, cuatro comparativos para hacer la, la descripción. You know, él no se dio cuenta, pero lo estábamos escuchando, like, bla, bla, bla. You know, that's the point. Good job. Muy buena, muy buena respuesta. ¿Quién Thank más... you, so. Ok, good job. Uh, ¿Quién más se anima? ¿Quién quiere tomar otra pregunta? Tengo 20, 20 questions. Para todos hay, pero ahorita solo por el tiempo vamos a leer alguno. Diego, Alfredo y Ana tienen las manos levantadas. ¿Sí? Ana. Ok, Ana. Ready? Tengo poquito no, minutos. No. no. Diego? Diego? Yes? Yep. Ok, Diego. Here we go. ¿Muestro la pregunta o solo le lanzo la pregunta sin mostrársela? Mm. Honestly, I'd rather see the, the question. 
Okay. No problem. I can do it. I can do it. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna display it right now. Hold on. Oh. oh. <clears throat> uh, uh. Tell me the question and if I don't comprehend comprehension. If I don't understand. Mm -hmm. I don't understand, but yeah, you okay. you help me. Okay, ya esta ya la hice. Are you happy? Or like la pregunta él. Me salté una por ahí para, you know, esa no la dije. Okay, esa no la dije. La que viene es la suya. Pues la muestro. Okay. Right. Okay. No lo voy a compartir. Here we go. Let's see. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Why is lying sometimes easier than telling the truth? Repeat me again, please. Sure. Why is lying sometimes easier than telling the truth? Mm -hmm. Como, ¿cuál es la mentira más fácil? Listen to the question one more time. Why is lying sometimes uh, why? easier than telling the truth? Because it is easier and in many occasions to to lear for escape, escape the reality and don't accept this this mistake the the people okay yeah your answer you know provides some input about the question yes this is the question i ask for those who didn't understand it, esa es la que le pregunté. Why is lying? Él entendió, porque sí dijo, respondió con base a la pregunta. Why is lying sometimes easier than telling the truth? ¿Por qué mentir algunas veces es más fácil que decir la verdad? And he's talking about, you know, um, what making up excusing is easier than, you know, justifying, you know, the, the, the truth, the truth, right? So yeah, that's the next one. Uh huh. That was good. You know, in a way, it was good. You explain it. You see, me dio la pregunta. Sí que that was good. Convenience is convenience, right? Convenience. <laughs> exactly. All right. One more. Uno más porque solo tengo one minute. ¿Quién se anima? Last one. Y esas preguntas, el propósito es que you challenge yourself. You try to see, uh, I don't know how to say this, and how do I say it, and blah, blah, blah. So who wants to do it? ¿Quién se anima? Guys, tú. Diego, está... uh -huh. ¿quién se anima? One more. Alfredo. Ok, Alfredo, this is for you. No lo voy a mostrar, Alfredo. <laughs> Next one. Ya se nos termina el tiempo casi. Listen to this. Does educated always mean more intelligent? Repeat. Yeah. Does educated always mean more intelligent? Elsie, ¿qué me dice educated? Does educated, educated, educated always mean more intelligent? Okay. Alguien educated always means more intelligent? ¿Quién entendió la sí, que era que era como que la educación significa no como ah, significa eh, inteligencia algo así como Ay, mayor no. educación ajá uh -huh. Uh 
-huh. Ahí va la pregunta. La voy mayor, a poner. mayor inteligencia. Aquí está, mire. Does educated always mean more intelligent? Si alguien más educado, edu educado significa que es más inteligente. Esa es la pregunta. Bueno, la intención de las preguntas era que ustedes se reten. Yo creo que ya no hay más tiempo. Mañana vamos a ver, los, vamos a ver eso en conversaciones. Guys, uh, thank you so much for connecting. Y este, mañana comenzaré con un par de preguntas como esta. All right, so you challenge. That's the idea. Have a great tonight. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye bye. Because I need to, you know, move Good on. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.